All right, we're back here with Trent Harmon, who is part of your top six. Congratulations, man. You are Thanks. you're good. You're good. I'm trying to get better, man. I'm good right now. I'm trying to be great. Well, you you had a little flirty flirt kind of moment going on with J Lo. What was that like? You man, know? I tell you what. Anytime you get to flirt with somebody that can wear a dress like that and pull it off, might I add, uh, that's a win whether you sing well or not. Yeah, yeah. You're so. like it's just important to to you know to flirt with J Lo. If anything comes out of tonight. The J-Lo flirt, that's what matters, right? It is. I mean, in 10 years, that's what I'm going to look back on and think about. I mean, you know, what song did you sing? I have no idea. Who cares about winning Idol? I flirted with J-Lo. That's right. I flirted with J-Lo on national TV, you know. She's a sweet lady, man, you know. And uh, she, it's like she's got my back every week, you know. And uh, so I, I try to work hard for her, you know. I want to make her proud. Now, you guys did duets tonight. Was it awkward? Like, I know, obviously, you guys are all, I don't know if you're friends, but you guys are all friendly. There's nobody, like, trying to beat each other up backstage. Yeah. But is it still weird to kind of know, like, hey, I'm linking up with somebody who technically I hope isn't here next week, so I am? Like, tell me kind of the thought process behind that part. That is true. And, you know, it is a competition, and you can't forget that. Uh, you know, I played, I played a lot of ball growing up, and so, you know, whenever you're competing, on a t it's like your teammate, but you're also competing to start ahead of him. So it's kind of like that, but what I was paired with, La Portia, we both took relief in the fact that we knew we were both going to put the effort into work. She didn't worry about me. I didn't worry about her. When it was time to rehearse, we knew that we'd already laid the groundwork for what needed to be done. We, we, we did work on it. A lot of people think that you and La Portia are kind of front runners right now, so that's kind of cool to perform together. Yeah, and rock it out. I, feel like, I feel like it's what the people wanted, and you, you give the people what, you, what they want in a sense, but I was glad. I thought that if Mr. Scott picked the perfect song because we didn't have to out sing each other yeah and that's what people wanted but they but i think what they really wanted was to just for two minutes to hear a beautiful song yeah and they got that they can't argue the fact that they that they can't say they didn't get that so now let's move on to your solo performance obviously uh you know tell me a little bit about when you're on stage we see everything going on you have to look at the right camera you have to make sure you hit the right notes your body your face all that what are you thinking about if we were to like record it is it blank are you yelling at yourself are you like begging to god like what, what would we hear you know i really have tried to get better at Looking for the red camera, because that's what you look for. Whichever camera's red, you look for the red camera. You know, I'm, look, I'm looking at that red light right now. Well, real quick, we have a red light. Is it like a bright red light, or is that small, too? No, it's a big old red okay, light. It's, so I was going to say, if you had to find a red light, like... Clifford, the big red dog. Like, okay. it's a big light. And, okay, but, but what I've, now that I've gotten used to looking at the light, now, I've, now they've noticed that whenever the light goes away, I keep looking at it. <laughs> and so it's like I'm doing what they want, but now I'm doing too much of it. Yeah. So, so that, that's all I really focus on and trying to remember the words. If you don't know the words, then just get off stage. You know? Absolutely. Let's say we were to take the judges, J-Lo, you know, throw some Keith in there and, and, and Harry to your hometown. Like what would be kind of the first things you'd do with them? We would absolutely probably go down to our restaurant. We have a restaurant and we would eat. Uh, we would eat, and uh, then we would probably just, we might just walk around, man, because I feel like they don't get to do that a lot. Yeah. They, you know, first first thing we do is lay our cell phones down. We yeah. leave our, well, you don't need it anyway, so we don't have cell phone service, very, you know, very very much. But yeah. I think I think we, I might just allow them some kind of escapism, you know, just to, just to chill out, because I don't think they get that a lot. And yeah. so that's what you do in, in, in Mississippi in general. You just, you're just kind of there. You chill. Yeah, it's very, very slow paced, different from Los Angeles. All right, Mr. T. Harmon, it's always good seeing you. Make sure he is not only in your top six, but he also makes it to your top five. And to do that, they got to vote for you, right? You got to vote, man. I keep saying it, but literally our fate is in your fingertips. All right. Make sure you're voting for him, and we will see him back here next week on American Idol. Thank you, brother.